rise. Now, what exactly does it mean to rise? From get out of bed in the morning to standing up tall as you stand and you reach for the sky, to looking upon the horizon at 90 degrees, the sun in your eyes, to resurrecting, raising up life from the dead, from the sole of your feet to the top of your head, going the opposite way of the lead, against the grain, above the main, the status quo we seek to change. Now, before I take a step back, let me unpack some more thoughts that I have. If you want to rise, then first you must fall. You see, Jesus, he died, and then he rose for all. The widow, the orphan, the lost and confused, the me and used, the preached and unreached, the unreached he saw. You see, Jesus looked for the lost. Scratch that, he still looks for the lost. The overlooked, the broken, the ones that many of us Christians often think are hopeless. Now with all that said, let me ask you a question. Will you rise, standing tall in your faith, like a rock against the wave, solely moved by the King? Will you rise with me, and not just to your feet, but will you worship with me, claiming sweet, sweet victory over the enemy by doing your part to complete the Great Commission, a deed given by the one we call King? Rise.